Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today we are talking about the first of many Grace Notes. This is going to be a new series um, where we talk about things that I say all the time. <laughs> uh, just little pieces of wisdom that I have developed over the last 26 years of my practice and just in my life in general. Things that I say, um, my little sayings that people, uh, it tends to resonate with people. And so um, people have called my attention to it, to several of these things. And so um, I wanted to just make a series about it. This will not be one after the other. I will do three in a row. And then I will add them maybe one a week, one every two weeks or something like that, just to, just to get them um, in a playlist. Um, but more or less, just to introduce you to some of the things that I say most often, some of my little sayings um, that um, people seem to enjoy and um, it helps them uh, understand things. So um, the first one that we're gonna talk about today is when I say become the calmest person in the room. That is one of my tenants. It's one of my five tenants that I teach um, in facilities and with families when I am teaching my when I'm teaching my system of behavior management um, is to become the calmest person in the room. The other companion saying, I guess, to that is um, when there is chaos, don't go into their chaos. Invite them into your calm. And both of those sayings essentially um, are the same they mean the same things as a practical matter. Um, when a person with dementia is in the throes of a catastrophic reaction, um, a meltdown, a breakdown, whatever you want to call it, if you have dealt with dementia for very long, you will have experienced this. Um, I, I believe that it happens because there's too much input. There's too much sensory input. There's too much noise. There's too much movement. There's too much something going on. That triggers a level of anxiety that then coupled with their misunderstanding of the environment or their misreading of cues in the environment. Maybe they think that someone is angry at them when no one is angry at them. Um, you know, nobody is, is um, expecting too much of them, but they feel that because internally they expect a lot of themselves and internally, um, you know, maybe they um, realize that they're disappointing um, themselves and feel like that they're disappointing others. So that can, that can add to the anxiety and then therefore there's a catastrophic reaction. When that happens, they are ratcheted up and they cannot control then their responses. They tend to come unglued, they are out of control, it is very chaotic. Um, in those situations, you as a person with an intact brain, intact, emo intact emotional um, ability to regulate um, <laughs> your moods and yourself, you have to become the calmest person in the room. That is just simply, simply what has to happen. You are providing the anchor for them. You are providing the touchstone for them. You are providing the standard um, by which everyone um, in the room can gravitate toward you as the person that is in control. If you met their level of anxiety, their letter of level of chaos, their level of discontent, their level of whatever, um, at that same spot, it would just add to their chaos. And so that's why I say, don't go into their chaos, invite them into your calm. But to do that, you have to become the calmest person in the room. So those are the two sayings um, that people have, have picked up on in my videos and they say, go into that a little bit more. So um, I am, I'm glad to, I'm glad to do that. Um, I think that it makes, um, it makes a lot of sense. In a, in, I, I believe in common sense caregiving. I absolutely believe in common sense caregiving. That everything that we're doing, um, we can do from a, a practical standpoint where you don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to be a certified dementia practitioner. You don't have to have any special skills or special knowledge to take care of somebody with dementia. We are just people taking care of people. And when you have that and then you add a little bit more knowledge to it, 
then it's, it's a golden opportunity to, um, to take care of the people that we love in the best way possible. So those are my two sayings. And I'll, I'll um, discuss a couple of more sayings in uh, the next two videos, and then we'll go on to something else for next week, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye. Mwah.